To set up a new simulation, go to the dashboard and click on New Simulation. You will need to name each simulation so you know what class and periods that simulation, simulation is aligned with. So we're going to name this one World History Period 2. To select the type for this application, we're going to use Imperialism. And then we click OK. OK, now we've got our simulation for this class set. And so, as you can see from the controls here, we're going to start the simulation. And that's when the map shows up. So, uh, once we click, click play, the simulation will appear and we're ready to begin. So, first thing we're going to look at is the teacher notes. Now, this is a handy place to put in any uh, things you want to remember for the next day. Um, for example, start with Portugal. Down here you see a link for a URL. This is your view only map link. So you're going to want to copy that and give it to uh, the students that are in uh, this class period. And they should be able to access that from any web browser from an iPad or computer or their phone even. Um, and be able to see the map. Probably on their phones it, it might not be the best, but an iPad or a computer would work fine. Um, it's not required, but those maps will update every time they refresh their browser to what your map says, and that's kind of a nice thing. So we'll click Save there. Now the first thing we're going to take a look at is the European map. Now as you can see on here, each country we're looking at Great Britain right now, has industrial production, which is a little factory. It has its market size, which is the parentheses underneath the country's name, and then also the number of natural resources held within the country. And that's those are all 37. They're all even to start with. Every country's production, natural resources, and markets are totally even to start with. Now the markets, the domestic markets, which are shown here, and the domestic natural resources, those numbers are not going to change. But the factories, the amount of production that can be produced in each country as they roll for technology, will go up, and those numbers will go up in the little factories. So as you can see here, we have all our European countries that are involved. There's eight of them that are involved in this simulation. Now if we go farther over to the right, we'll see we've got our Africa map and everything is lined up the same way and our Asia map. All with the resources. Um, you can see the resources here for Rio de Oro, uh, 12 natural resources. It's got a 6 for market value and the military or the defense rating is 3 so it's going to cost 3 military credits to take that. Uh, piece of Africa. So we go back over here, that's kind of a little short explanation of the map, and France is first, so we're going to click on France, and here's your operations window that comes up. Now in this particular case there are 39 credits to be spent, and all those credits have to be put into these three categories, technology, military credits, and savings. And savings is really just for anything that's left over. Um, for example, the, the first thing that they're going to have to decide is what country they were going to take over. So let's just say the country they were going to take over was going to cost 15 military credits. Okay, that leaves us 24 credits left. And so we're going to say we're going to do all of that on rolls. Now, in the first round, we would only do technology. We wouldn't have let them spend any money or take any countries because we want to raise the technology up, which creates the condition uh, that for imperialism to happen. So we're, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to do a regular round after the first round. So now, we, this 15 and 24, that equals 39. 
So we've got our stuff all set up. Now, now we have to go and we have to roll the dice. So let's say this 24 they're spending on technology. That means, let's say they're going to roll uh, 3 times 8 is 24, so that would be 8 uh, rolls of 3. So we're just, you won't be able to see this, but I'm going to do it just like we would in the game. The kids would get the dice out, and we're going to roll 8 dice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now that was a good roll. So I got two ones, a 2, and three threes. So uh, I had eight rolls of three or less, which means anything, a one, two, or three is going to strike. So I've got six dice left now that I'm going to roll. And those six dice, whatever they add up to, that's how much industrial increase I'm going to get. So I roll my dice, two, three, six, ten, sixteen, nineteen. So I got nine, an increase of nineteen in my industrial production. So now uh, I've got all my numbers in, and I'm going to click Save because I'm done with this part. Okay. So when we go to look at France, we can see their uh, production has now increased to 58. And we had 15 military credits, so we're going to go over to the map over here. <clears throat> and it looks like Ethiopia has got a 15. And so we've got enough military credits to take that. So I'm going to double click on Ethiopia and in colonize Ethiopia um, window pops up. I want France. France says I got 15 military credits and it costs 15 military credits. It tells me I'm going to get a market of 30 and resources of 60. And so now I'm all set and I'm just going to click commence. And now Ethiopia, uh, the resources and the market of Ethiopia have been transferred to my uh, to the France account. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I'm going to look at history, and in the history, it's going to tell me in the first box. It's going to show me what I had when I started, and now we look and see we have two boxes for round one. So every time we've clicked commence on our windows, which was twice during round one, it's going to give us a detail of what we did. So here you can see that we got uh, our uh, military spending. We spent 15. We got 24 technology credits. Our domestic uh, industrial went up to 58. We did our military spending. Now our markets have increased to 69. Our resources are at 99, and our total industrial is at 58. Uh, it also tells us our colonies that, that France has taken. It's taken Ethiopia. It costs 15 military credits, 60 resources, and 30 markets uh, were added. So that's the history. Um, every time we make a move, and there's four rounds in this, uh, all that history will keep uh, coming up and the students will have access to this uh, they will have they can't click on the France button but they can click on the history button and that will come up for them uh, and they will be able to see their history which really helped them to study what their moves were and what they got out of it uh, and that'll help uh, help them to fill out the report that they're going to be doing uh, just like they normally would with this so each one of these countries would go and have a turn, and basically that's what a, a turn looks like and how it works. It's really simplified. There's no spreadsheets, none of that stuff. Um, I think this is really going to not only speed the game up, but it's going to make it so much easier for the teacher.